what's up beautiful people and welcome back to my channel today i am going to be showing you guys how to do your makeup in 10 minutes for only 10 dollars now this video is for the girls on the budget so if you are not on a budget i would suggest for you to leave this video right now because we about to get flawless together okay and i'm gonna need you to run to the description box and buy all the products that i linked down there or you could go to your walmart or your beauty supply store and get all of these things that i use you guys it only took me 10 minutes to do this makeup and i'm so proud of myself of course it's gonna take a little bit longer but it's around the 10 minute bracket i don't know about you but sometimes i take too long and i'll be that friend that's late oh my god oh my god oh my god no if you're one of those friends i I'm gonna need you to take some lessons from this video and jot down some stuff or lay out your makeup and do your makeup with me. I have some very unique strategies that I showed you guys and like unique stuff that I don't see a lot of people do. So I'm gonna need you to stay tuned and follow these steps with me, you guys. It is important to look, you know, very feminine and like you're not doing too much as a female, okay? I don't wanna get too deep into the femininity stuff but it is very important for us because it's not only for the mental for the body for the outside look but you want to look good so why not do it on a budget especially if you're not trying to break your pockets or you don't got it like that so do it on a budget follow these steps i did and i hope it turns out beautiful for you so you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel this is just the intro and we about to look real crazy in the next footage um there's just a little bit of stuff i didn't show on camera which is i put a mole right here because i have a dark pimple spot i popped the pimple so it became dark so i, I put a mole there and i put a mole right here because i naturally have a mole there underneath the makeup <laughs> so and i did put on lip liner so i didn't show you guys that you can do that step when you're finished with all the steps i showed you so yeah without further ado let's get into this fire makeup tutorial Alrighty guys, so I am going to be starting the video here with a fresh face and my voice is a little hoarse because I just <clears throat> got over a cold so please don't mind that. So we are going to be doing our makeup in 10 minutes for only $10. Now I just want to start by saying you can use any beauty blender, okay? So the beauty blender I am using today, where is it? Oh my god. Alright, sorry about that. I am trying to not do any edits no whatsoever so the beauty blender i'm using is this one here i bought it from walmart and um you can use any beauty blender as long as you damp the beauty blender with some water you should be good first you're gonna um actually put some primer on <clears throat> y'all i just had a cold uh, it wasn't like a big cold it was just a cough and i don't know where it came from i think it's because i had wet my hair and i went to bed late and when I woke up, I just had this cough. And I was like, what is going on with my immune system? I'm using the e.l.f., by the way. This is an e.l.f. put it primer from Walmart. I will be linking everything down below, either from Walmart or from Amazon for you guys, so that you can go out and purchase it. And you can get beautified. Like, this primer is so good, you guys. I kid you not it have your face feeling so moisturized and it also feels lightweight it's not like heavy or casty I don't like a primer that's like too thick it's the perfect tackiness but we're not doing a review right now we're talking about doing our makeup in 10 minutes so you're gonna use any translucent powder this air spun powder is from Walmart it's only about five dollars but I think I found it for three it was on sale and I found it for three, but I think it's under $5, y'all. You're going to take the primer with your damp beauty blend. Uh, you're going to take the powder with your beauty blender. And you're going to apply it in the areas you're going to apply your concealer. So I'm just going to take that powder and apply it there. I do this with foundation also, but today I am going to only be using concealer on my face y'all oh i look a little crazy but no worries we're just trying to um mattify and make these areas super matte so that the um makeup look come out flawless okay so yeah we're gonna look like a ghost like this <laughs> all right so this should be enough normally i do this with my foundation I'll put my foundation next and it'll just have the foundation super super matte but today we are doing our makeup under 10 minutes 
for only $10. Now, you're going to go to your beauty supply store and get the LA Pro Girl Concealer. Let's see if it'll focus. Well, this is how it look. I'm sure a lot of people is familiar with this. This is in the color Warm Honey. And this color works for every skin tone, y'all. It could work for the light skin girls. It can work for the brown skin girls, like my skin complexion. And it could work for dark skin girls if you want, like, a nice highlight. This is, like, really on my skin complexion type of um, color. So it goes really well. And it can come off, like, foundation. But we're only going to work in our T-zone area. And um, we're trying to get ready quick. And I'm in no rush. I have a lot of time ahead of me right now. But I was like, let me film this and show you guys how I put on my makeup every single day. Especially when I'm going to work. And I don't want to do too much. And I don't want to look like I'm wearing a load of makeup. And sometimes even this little bit, people be thinking like, she has on makeup or she has on, she really took her time to do her face. And it really don't be that. I really have on just concealer and powder. So we're going to take that same beauty blender and just blend that concealer into your um, T-zone areas. And when I tell you, the way this blends out with the powder is like... Oh, I forgot where I saw this, y'all. I saw this on TikTok, of course, because, you know, we see everything on TikTok and we follow, but somebody put powder on first, and I was like, what a genius. It makes it so matte, and it lasts all day. Like, I'm not even kidding. So, you're going to um, blend that out really nicely. I'm literally only going to use about three products, y'all. And sometimes I like to use my um, foundation underneath. I look super white. And I think it's because of my camera <laughs> settings is on super, super bright for some reason. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put on some foundation also because I'm looking a little too bright. But I could also put on um, brown powder and call it a day because that's really what I do. Matter of fact, I'm going to keep it effortless i'm gonna put on brown powder and show you guys how you can blend out your concealer to look like you did a whole foundation look i look like a ghost and i think it's because i'm doing this video today got me looking really white oh, hold on y'all all right so i'm going to take my fit me powder and this is not a translucent powder. This is in a color coconut. It is matte and poreless and have your face looking matte. And, um, you know, all day. You won't look greasy. This is good for the oily girls. You won't look oily or nothing. You're going to take that same beauty blender. So we're on a budget. And we're not trying to use anything else. So we're going to use our beauty blender. But we're going to use the bottom of it. And we're going to just, you know, get some of that powder on there. And we're going to contour. You see how that look like? That look really brown. I'm just going to contour that. You see how brown I'm starting to look? You want to put a heavy amount on the areas you want to contour. Remember, we're on a budget, so we're only using a few products. We're literally only using concealer and powder for this makeup look. And I think it's just my light making me look super bright, but in my mirror I look really brown. Don't forget to get your forehead. The forehead is really what makes your face look white. If you put on too much powder, um, if you put on too much concealer on your forehead, just go over it with some brown powder and you'll be all right. All right. Now that we have this brown powder in the areas we like to look super, you know, bronze and brown and all of that, we're going to take our airspun white translucent powder. And look how flawless I look already, y'all. And I didn't even do that much. I just put on concealer and powder, literally. So you could save a lot of money okay this is for my girls on a budget we're gonna use that translucent powder again and we're just gonna um, put a little bit like a very light amount underneath our eyes so that we look awakened 
and we don't look, you know, we just look awakened. Like you just look like, like wow, I'm up. Okay, I'm not sleepy today. <laughs> and then we're gonna um put some on the bridge of our nose by using the corner of the um, beauty blender. Yeah, I like that. And then you can con you can carve out over here a little bit, but you don't want to put on too much. So you can go back and forth with the white powder and then with the brown powder, okay? And go over with your brown powder again. Yo, I run through this, y'all. And this is only like $4 in Walmart. You want to put that on your neck because you don't want to have like a white cast line. You want to look very natural. Now, of course, because I'm talking through this video, it's a little bit longer. But I kid you not, it only takes me about 10 minutes to do my makeup, you guys. I like to use the same brown powder to carve out my nose. And we're on a budget. So look at that. Okay. Okay. Because you have the um, white powder on, it makes it so easy to contour your face with this brown powder. And I kid you not, this is my skin color, but because I have that white powder, um, the brown the brown powder is just sitting on effortlessly and making it look like I contoured my face. Now, if you want to look like you put on eyeshadow, use the same brown powder, a little bit of it, and put it on your eyelid. And now it'll give you like a nice smoky brown eyelid and call it a day. All right, so now we're gonna do eyebrows. Now, eyebrows normally take some time, so some people like to do it first. I like to do it last, and I like to do it first, but I mostly like to do it last. We're gonna take our mascara, okay? Now, you don't wanna do too much, and you wanna budget. So now we use how many products? We use Beauty Blender, powder, and concealer, and we're gonna use mascara, and we use primer for five products, okay? We're gonna use mascara. We're gonna take this mascara. You can get a dollar mascara. This is the e.l.f. mascara I got from Walmart. You can get this mas uh, mascara from Dollar Tree and you can use it on your brows, okay? Now I'm talking about for the girls that's going to school. You don't wanna um, be late. You're in a rush. Use this mascara. I think this side is more contoured, but that's okay. We still look flawless. Um, you're going to take your mascara, and you're going to apply it on your eyebrows, okay? You're going to lift those brows hairs up and get all of that powder off of it. Now, y'all see that? Okay. You want to lift that up. Now, we're going to take our concealer again. Remember, we're on a budget, so we're not trying to do too much by buying angle brushes and all that other stuff. We're trying to save our coins. So, we're going to take our angle um we're going to take our angle brush over here on the concealer part, and we're just going to um you know, flatten that up a little bit and turn it into a angle brush. So, I'm just flattening it up. I hope you understand what I mean. I mean, it's very self-explanatory. You're just going to flatten it up and make it super flat. And we're going to um, carve out our eyebrows. You know, cover up those unwanted hairs and make it look super neat. So now this defines your eyebrows even more. And I know you're probably like, well, I have um, concealer everywhere now. You're just going to use your beauty blender and cut, um, blend out that concealer so that it um, looks more natural. This is probably going over a little bit more than 10 minutes, but that's okay because let's be realistic here you're probably not gonna take 10 minutes some people could take five minutes I'm some of those people sometimes I take five minutes to do my makeup sometimes I take 12 <laughs> but um, to be honest just using these few products you can do your makeup in 10 minutes or less I, I kid you not okay we're gonna take our beauty blender once again and we're going to blend out the concealer now you want to look natural you know you don't want to be doing too much 
there are days where we want to do too much but there are days where we want to do less less is always more anyways you know less is always the best the less you wear the more natural you make it look the better you look to be honest because you come with your natural beauty and um, we enhance it with some makeup and we are all artists so we know how to make our self look better than what we actually are I hope that don't go over some people's heads but um, what I'm trying to say is just wearing less is always the best okay um, less eyebrows I barely put anything on my eyebrows I just put some mascara just to make it look you know the hairs make it look like I do have hairs there and it looks super natural I love that all right, so now we're going to wear some lashes, and the lashes I'm wearing today is um, from the Beauty Supply Store. It was only about $3, and I threw out the package because I've been wearing it all week, and I like to save my coins, and the lashes was only $3, so why not make the use out of it and wear it all week or even two weeks if you can. So these are the lashes. I think they were by Kiss. They're just super small and wispy and I like to use weave glue. I'm one of those girls that use weave glue with my lashes. Oh my god, it's so hot in my room right now. <laughs> and I don't want to turn on anything because it'll make noise on the video. So you're going to use your weave glue. The weave glue is only a dollar, y'all. Y'all could get that from the Beauty Supply Store or online for a dollar. And then you, I like to use the black weave glue because <clears throat> I don't want it to look clumpy. I don't want it to look gray. When you use the whiter um, glues... It tends to come off um, looking like you know just gray or brown because of your makeup um, that's on your lashes you want to put mascara on first on your natural lashes because you don't want the powder to show on your falsies I'm so hot y'all I'm sorry <laughs> and I like to put on bottom um, um, I was going to say bottom lashes. I like to put um, mascara on my bottom lashes because it just makes it look more natural. Someone's calling me. Alright. I'm sweating y'all and I'm sorry. I'm sweating. Oh, it's so hot. But I feel like because I'm rushing, it's making me more hot. Now we have our glue on our lashes and we're just going to apply that onto our eyes. I was going to wear eyeliner, but for the sake of the $10, I think everything I use so far is $10 and you don't really need eyeliner. Sometimes eyeliner helps the lashes stick on quicker. Um... And it give it a better um, smoky eye, like dark eye look that I like to go for. But we don't need it. We really don't need the eyeliner today. And I like to do dramatic liners when I have more dramatic lashes. But since these are natural lashes, um, the no liner can do. You would think that I have on a full face foundation um contour <laughs> and i literally only use concealer and powder can you guys believe that now let's say under a budget let's talk about budget honey and i don't knock the girls that want to um wear all that stuff i wear it sometimes too but you want to look natural i'll tell you okay oh let's not get the glue into our eyes now I like to rub my nail underneath the lashes so that my natural lashes get smeared into the glue and onto the falsies, if that make any sense. <laughs> I was going to do a TikTok video on this, but hey, this will do. A YouTube video is always better. You get to teach them and take your time. And you don't gotta go for three minutes like tiktok only give you three minutes like that sucks so this is all i'll be doing for the natural look now i did my makeup in 10 minutes for only ten dollars literally everything cost about ten dollars now i didn't add tax to that but <laughs> everything was ten dollars and i did my makeup in 10 minutes like you can't beat that and i hope that this helps 
and if it did help please let me know and comment down below let me know what strategies you do maybe you do something a little different that makes the process a little bit faster let me know you know and i'm here to teach y'all so i'm about to do my hair get dressed and look cute so i can go out now i'm on time and i have a lot of time ahead of me and i don't gotta be the late friend <laughs> but you guys thank you so so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video i love you so much don't forget to hit that subscribe button and yeah i'll see you in my next one I'm